Hello Leo and welcome to your reading. Today's going to be really interesting because my camera stand officially broke into multiple pieces but because of my wonderful, wonderful um, clients that have donated, um, I was able to purchase a new uh, stand. So hopefully it'll be here in about a week and a half. So. I just have to figure out how to make do until then. So I'm going to be at this odd up and down angle. So it's kind of, you know, instead of being long ways, we could see everything. But, you know, I'll just do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. My camera's in a cauldron on a wood platter on a candle. Hey, you do what you got to do. Okay. <clears throat> so, Leo. Today's the 17th. 5 plus 1 plus 7 plus 2 plus 2 is 17. 7 plus 1 is 8. Last time I checked. Okay, Leo, so um, when you see a 5, that's all about you and change. Um, your planet is Sun, and that's 13. That's a karmic message, 13. Karmic messenger, messenger. Uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. So when you see a four, that's what's going on around you. Fire is your element, and that is two and three. Two and three is five. So now we have five over here representing you and change. So um, we have 13 being the karmic message. So four basically representing what's going around you. So um, when we see two, that usually represents patience or two people. And three is creativity for an individual. Um, in this case, so if we break it down to five, action taken, or that's going to be your change. The change is the action that you've taken. When you add all these up together, you have eight and five, manifestation and change. Manifesting change is the karmic message. Do you see? So... That's our board, and there we have it. So now, we can go ahead and bring in our cards. As always, <clears throat> I let the cards fall where they may. Whatever cards pop up, those are the cards that I'm uh, drawn to pull. So it's not my thoughts, ideas, opinions, or advice. It's literally just the cards giving you a message. And I am simply the interpreter. Nothing more. Nothing less. Here to give you whatever message you were meant to get today. And I base everything off of, oh, I've got a card sticking up here, off numerology and astrology and math. So it's based on fact and science. Um, so what you get is what you get. Oh, well, there you go. Starting off strong. Eight, that's on your board. Manifestation. First card, manifestation. Love upon love. Healing. Love upon love. 22. Intuition. Leo, you know you have good intuition. You know that already. There's our change coming in. There's our change. Relationship change. Okay. And there's our two coming in uh, from fire, from the two and three. Patience. Oh, and I said a karmic message was coming. Look what we have. Karma. What'd I tell you? I knew there was a karmic message. Running out of room over here for stuff. Um, let's see. I'm going to put that over there. Okay. All right. So there's our base, okay, and we're going to build off of this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards. Six representing um, 
love. <laughs> it's, I don't know why I couldn't think of that for a minute. My brain just stopped. had somebody message me and ask me why are you still wearing your hospital band and I was like well um, because if you saw my arm you would know if you look at my arm how much they poked and prodded at me it looks like I either have some crazy disease or some sort of drug habit so I wear my band so when I have to go out and run to get food um, or whatever um, like they understand I was in the hospital so especially with all this COVID-19 you know which I don't blame them because I've been sick 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 They're like yeah you might not want to come near me I'm not well getting better though little by little So many cards. Oh my gosh. They have a lot to say. Who am I? Oh, that card wants out. There we go. Okay. Saving the bottom of the deck to refer back to. Um, if and when we need it. Okay, wow, that is a lot of cards. Whoo boy. It's been a long reading. Okay, starting off. Okay, under manifestation, we have eight of wands needing to take action. There's our karmic messenger. Remember, karmic message, we have karma. Karma, and we have messenger right there. An eight manifestation. Okay, look at the board. Right there. Eight. Okay, 13 karmic message. Manifesting change karmic message. So, there you have it. Starting off strong. So, where we just started, that's where it starts right there. Okay, Four of Wands, under healing, needing healing, needing this to heal. So it looks like possibly a relationship needs to heal. Intuition, knowing. See, this is like remembrance or looking back upon, but it's also falling under intuition. Okay, relationship change, fool. Ah, being played the fool, being a fool, something happened in there. Okay, change in a relationship. Next, patience, the high priestess. Leos, you are a high priestess. You know this. You know this. You have the ability for intuition. You have the ability for uh, premonitions, tarot reading, as well as mediumship. So Leos are very strong karmically speaking. Okay, under karma, we have the three of cups. Three of Cups is very interesting. If you look at the Three of Cups, I always tell people, look at the details. The devil's in the details. So it represents, supposed to be, Three of Cups is a celebration of emotion, right? But if you look at her, she's kind of looking at the cups, right? She's not looking at him, per se, or she could be. But it seems like she's looking at the cups. Her cup is lower. Her cup is next. His cup is highest. If you look at him, he's not looking at either of them. She's clearly looking at him. But we can't see her face. So if she's looking at him, and she's looking at him, and he's looking at somebody else, right? See how it's all off in that sense? And she's definitely lower in the totem pole here. 
If you look at her face, she doesn't look all that happy. It's a focusing. That falls under karma. Okay, next. Nine of Cups. Happy, successful, wishes coming true, everything great. Manifesting that. Next, we have the Ten of Swords. So that's really interesting. Because look what we have side by side. Everything wonderful and good and great. Right next to it, everything just terrible. So with healing, we can have this. Okay, we can manifest this. But we need to heal from this. Okay? Oh, misery, anxiety, stress. Another nine. So we have 9 and 9 and 10. So this is the karma again coming in. So that 9 of swords, that's what we're thinking. And our intuition knows that what this is all about. And also knows how to fix it. Relationship change. 8. Bringing in that 8. Manifesting. Self-imprisonment. Did it to ourselves. This swords is our thoughts, our mind. Self-imprisoned. Not wanting to see. Being left out in the cold. This is that relationship. This needs to change. Next, we have the emperor. The individual needs to change. Okay? More patience. More patience. Somebody needs to be more patient. Next, under karma, we have the lovers. So there's that relationship. The two of cups. Harmony of emotions. See, the Two of Cups is interesting. Two is the harmony of. Three is the celebration of. And they're one next to, to the other under karma. So, see her dress is red. Action needs to be taken. So, he needs to choose or you need to choose. Someone needs to choose here. Right? Next, under manifestation, we have judgment, or I'm sorry, justice, my bad. Karma changing. Um, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Karma for the individual, not changing. Karma for the individual, justice. Manifesting justice or needing balance. Everything's one or the other. It's either um, literal or figurative. It's this or that. It's night or day. It's them or us. It's he or she. Everything is one or the other. Can't be anything else. Okay, and then next under healing, we have this, this battle. Standing strong, strong resolve, but battling. Needing to choose, is this what we want to do? We want to keep battling and keep ending up here? Because that's what keeps going on. And now I have three spots left. So that means we are missing something. What are we missing? Well, let's take a look. The b bottom of the deck. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, with this Queen of Pentacles under intuition, we know this is what we want. This is what we can accomplish. This is where we want to be. And we know we're not there. Okay, because where we are in this relationship is we're constantly competing. This Five of Wands. This needs to change. We need change of action. Because this is just a constant thing going on and on and on. So under patience, if we're patient and we can fix this, then we can have the Ten of Pentacles, which is happy home and family. But right now, with the karma that we're, we're involved in, we've got this Two of Wands. Okay? Two of Wands is future planning, hard work. We can get to where we need and want to go. It's just going to take a lot of hard work. Okay, Leo, so let's take a look at where we're at. So coming in over here, eight. So eight, this is what we need to manifest. We need to manifest, we need to take action and create what we want emotionally. And then we'll feel justified. We'll have good karma if we just do this. Under healing, we need to heal from this and move forward. We just have to move forward. Under intuition, we're remembering, but we have to remember the the bad as well as the good. You can't just remember just the good stuff and think, oh yeah, I'll go back there because, you know, 
he was this or she was that. No, you have to remember everything. Relationship change, don't be the fool. You need to see what's going on clearly. This is self-imprisonment. This needs to change, okay? Use your intuition and be more patient and you'll get there. Because right now, this is our karma, okay? This is what's going on karmically. So if we add these together coming down, we have 8 and 9, which is 17. 17, if we look at our board, 17, that's what's going on today, okay? That's what's happening today. 9 and 8 is 17. This is what's going on today, okay? 8 and 8 is 16. 16, the beginning of emotions or love. So that's the beginning of the love, the love, the healing right here. Okay, here we have 10 and 7. We have 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 2 and 1, patience for the individual. So we already know over here we're being told we need some patience. Patience for the individual, right? And then if we have... Um, 60, 70, 80, 87, 8 and 7 is 15, 1 and 5, the beginning of change. So we had already talked about change, relationship change, beginning of change. 1 and 5 is 6, which is love. Again, healing. Okay? So this literally is meaning you healing. Next over here, we have the 9 and the 6, 15. Again, 1 and 5 need to change. Having the intuition to know we need to change. 1 and 5 is 6. Again, going back to love. 6 and 6. Love upon love. Right? Okay, going to the next row. We have 8 and 5. 13. That's a karmic message. This relationship needs to change. Okay, that's coming from spirit. And then right next to spirit is who? The high priestess. Spirit. Okay? This row is all about patience. It's 10. This is your karma. This is karma right here. What's right there? Karma. 10 karma. Karma. So if you go down here, you have... Um, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to add the top here. Um, so, whoop, I got ahead of myself. Got excited. 13. So we have 13. And then 3 and 1 is 4. And then 4, and, and then we have 11. So that's 15, 1 and 5. Again, change. This needs to change. Coming over here, we have 10. So 10 and 2, 12. The beginning of patience. Patience. 1 and 2 is 3. Okay, 3 is be creative. Find a creative way to make this happen. Next, we have karma. So here we have 3 and 2 is 5, and 2 Seven, okay? Seven is personal growth. Seven and ten is 17. This is your personal growth for today. Today is 17. Okay, then we have counting over. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventy, eighteen. We have eighteen cards. One and eight. The beginning of manifestation. And your board is about manifestation. Eight. 8 and 1 is 9. 9 is complete. This message is complete. Okay? So, you have 18. Add these. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24, 2 and 4. Patience and perseverance. 2 and 4, 6. Love. Going back to love. Healing and emotion. Healing a relationship. Healing emotionally. Okay? So, there's your cards. And see how it all connected? Okay, so now we're going to move over to our Oracle cards. Making some room. Okay, let's bring in Oracle. I know this is a weird angle. I'll fix it in a minute. Go. 
a lot of cards. Okay, those fell. That one here. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, let's see what we have. Ooh, four and four. Perseverance upon perseverance. Reclaim your power, Leo. Reclaim your power. Two and nine. Patience complete. You need complete patience to make all this happen. See the bigger picture. Try looking at it from a different perspective. Nine and two is 11. You're a very unique individual, Leo. Leos are very unique. Very unique. Reclaim your uniqueness and your power. Two, again, patience. Leo, patience, patience, patience. Life is speeding up. Then we have three and five. Creative change. Create change. Spirit has a plan. So we have change. We have patience. And we have spirit in your reading. And then we have one, two, three, four cards. So we have four cards, perseverance, persevering through, because we have 44, perseverance, perseverance. So we had um, one, two, three, four, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34, 3 and 4, creative perseverance, 3 and 4, 7, personal growth. So, needing to create personal growth and, um, you know, definitely reclaiming your power. So, that is your oracle reading. Okay, so we got that in there. And then we have your tarot coming through so I hope this helped you Leo to understand what is going on what is happening and what needs to be done so manifesting healing with your intuition a change in relationship using patience and that will change your karma that will change your karma okay if anybody um, is wanting a free personal reading um, you're going to call me and it's going to be just like this. We'll do a video chat. Okay. And on a video chat, it's more direct. It's more connected specifically for you. This is a general read. So this is kind of like generally speaking, it'll work for about 70 to 75% of you. Um, 25% it will not because there's too many variables, but a personal reading is a hundred percent. 100%. If you haven't had one yet, I recommend you go to all of my videos and read the comments of all the personal readings I've done and the glowing recommendations and glowing reviews that I have. And then um, get a personal reading. They're free. All you have to do is follow the instructions. It's really simple and really easy. I'll walk you through it really quick. Okay, first of all, you need to like and subscribe to my channel, okay, for the free reading. All right, two, you need to have Google Duo on your phone in order to video chat. Because you have to see the cards in order to understand it. Three, you need to text your first name and your sign to this number. Okay, four, also text a day, Monday through Saturday, 
and a time. The time must be Central Standard Time. Okay, look it up. Cer um, Central Standard Time Zone. Okay, text me a date and time that you would like your appointment to be. Okay, I will then either confirm or give you an option. Okay, in a text. And then you can text back yes or no. Okay. And then six, you have to make sure to show up for your appointment. Okay. Please, people, please respect the time. All right. And that's all you have to do. Simple and easy. If you need further instruction or you forget, there's a video that I did just about how to get free readings. Um, you can also... Um, there's under videos that I have, there's usually information at the end of every video, again, about how to get a free reading. You can go back and look at that. All right, Leos, thank you for watching so much. I appreciate you guys, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.